Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor JC coming at you live this morning and uh, just seizing the day. Carpe diem, seizing the day. We have this day, we have this moment, we have this time. Yes, it's Wednesday. Yes, it's the middle of the week. Yes, you may feel tired and worn out and exhausted and ready for the week to be over, but just hold on. Finally, be strong. The Word of God tells us in Ephesians chapter 6, I want to read a passage of Scripture to you. It's in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. He said, Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. And I want to stop right there. As he addresses the brethren, he's addressing the whole church. And he's saying to us, Finally, be strong in the power of the Lord and in his might. Be strong in the Lord and in his power and in his might. And I got to thinking about that. You know, that word finally means that there was something that came before that statement and he's finishing up a thought. And the thought which he is finishing is some practical advice that he had given them as the church about relationships and parents and children and about other issues that they would deal with as far as um, those who worked for them or those for whom they worked and, and different things like that. And, and he ends it by saying in Ephesians chapter 6 here, finally, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I want you to see something here. He doesn't say, muster all the strength you can muster and pull yourself up and just do the best that you can. Sometimes that's what we try to do. And yet here in this scripture, he gives us a key into walking in victory and walking in strength and walking in power. And that's to do it in the Lord. So many times we get caught up in trying to do it ourselves, work it out ourselves. We press through and we, we struggle and we, we wrestle with things and thinking, I can fix this, I can do this, I can make this better. And you know we're praying that God's will be done, but then we get in the middle of it and we try to do our own thing. We try to figure it out and we ended up exhausted, worn out, burnt out and struggling. And then we wonder, Lord, where are you? What I love about this passage of scripture is, he says, your strength is not going to be found in how much you can muster yourself together. Your strength is going to be found in the Lord. Finally, when you've done everything else, when you've tried everything else, when you've exhausted all your other options, finally, be strong in the Lord. You see, we shouldn't even consider all the other options that we can do. We shouldn't consider our own will we shouldn't consider our own abilities, our own strengths, because at times those things will leave us weak and tired, and stressed out. He said, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Good morning, Catalina. I'm glad you're on here, my friend. Good to see you. We're talking about being strong in the Lord. Today, we have a choice. How are we going to operate our lives? How are we going to live our lives. Some of us watching this video may be going through some very difficult times. Sometimes when your faith has been tested and stretched and you don't even know if you can go on for another day because you're that tired and weary and worn out, I have a word for you today. Stop trying to do it on your own. Stop trying to figure it out by yourself. You'll never figure it out. You'll never do it on your own. As strong as you can be, it's not going to happen. He says, finally, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Let me ask you this question. How strong is our God? You know, we say, yes, he's all powerful. He's omnipotent. We understand that here. But do we really get that in our heart? Do we really understand you see, my God is stronger than every enemy I could ever possibly face. My God is more fierce than any battle I might ever go through. 
my God, is more powerful than any mountain or any giant that might try to stand in my way, any obstacle that might try to stop me. My God is more powerful than all of those things. Think of it like this. In eternity past, in eternity present, in eternity future, God has always beaten every enemy that has come up against him. He is the undefeated champion of all heaven and earth and the universe. There is no one bigger or stronger or more powerful than our God. And if we believe that he is strong and powerful and that he truly is the God of all of the universe, then I think it's time for the church to be strong in him and in the power of his might. Look at what he goes on to say in this, because he doesn't end it there. He says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the, in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. He has not only shown us that he is powerful and, in, and he is mighty, but our God has given us every tool and every weapon to live our lives every single day in his strength and in his power. He said, put on the whole armor of God that you may be stay able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The devil is wily, he's crafty, he's manipulative. He comes in with his trickery and sorcery and sometimes he disillusions even believers into a place of doubt and fear and weariness. But I'm telling you today, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God because when you do that every single morning, you'll be able to stand in the face of no matter what the enemy levels against you because you won't be standing in your own strength. You'll be standing in the strength of our God. So today, rest in his promise that he is our strength. He is our strength. We find our power, we find our victory in him and in him alone. I want you to know today that this pastor right here loves you very much. And I'm praying for you. Crossroads, don't forget this is our month of prayer awareness in October. Don't forget that this morning we have our midweek morning worship service starting at 1030. And we have our Wednesday evening service, which tonight is going to be a prayer service because it's the first Wednesday of the month. So I encourage you to come out at 7 or come out at 1030 this morning if you can make it. We'd love to see you here. Today, no matter how you may be feeling, no matter what you're going through, you look at that battle, you look at that struggle, you look at that mountain, and you remind them how big and powerful your God is. And then you square your shoulders, you put on the armor of God, you stand up straight and tall, and you march victoriously into this day. I love you today. I'm praying for you. And may God bless you. Take care.